Um, right, hi, uh, I'm James Smith. Um, some of you know me, a hell of a lot of people here I don't know, which is really cool. Um, so yeah, it's been quite a week. Um, okay, thank you. <laughs> Got about five minutes. Um, it's been quite a week. We've exposed division in the country that I think maybe we thought was there, but we didn't really see it quite so clearly. Um, and for those of us who were on the Remain side, I was you know, very much uh, Remain. It's a real dilemma because we want to, you know, we want to say, oh, but we were right. But the problem is we can't tell people they were wrong. We can't tell people what they were wrong about how they feel. What the last week has told us is that we have to build bridges. We have to start understanding the other side and understanding the division in our country. Really, really soon. You know, the, the talk of bits of it breaking off and the joking of, ha we should have an independent London, is, I mean, where the hell's it gonna go, right? There is no way we're not gonna sail off into some utopia. Um, what do I do? I believe that, who here works with openness, open source, open data, openness in general, collaboration on the internet, who knows about Wikipedia, things like that. We have new ways of doing things now. We've learned a lot. The network gives us a whole bunch of new, interesting ways to communicate with each other, to connect to each other in a way that we haven't done for thousands of years, since there was just a few of us. Um, and at the same time, we see that the old political institutions, the political institutions of the industrial era, are broken. They're fighting. The whole place is collapsing around their ears. Thank you. Um, and they're not, you know, they're not reacting to this. They're, they're not solving the problem. We're now connected in ways we've never have been before. We have new tools, we have new ways of doing things. We believe that being open makes things better. And it makes us better quicker. We can learn from each other, we collaborate. The future for me is about collaboration. It's about working together to solve the really big global challenges. It's given us new ways to listen to each other, to heal those divisions. And three minutes. Thank you. <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> what have I done? I'm getting to that. <laughs> what I believe is that that is a political view. It's not about making a more transparent system based on the old choices. It's not about tinkering around the edges, making a, 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 a dysfunctional system more accountable. I think this is a political view. That view of the world is a political view. And that's why I have started something called something new, which is a political party. Yeah, yeah another political party. But uh, we stood candidates in 2015. We've run on an open source manifesto that's been written by a whole bunch of people that I don't know. There's a whole load of different ideas in there. We've worked and explored ways to do this stuff together. And I think that that openness, that new way of looking at the world for the network age is fundamentally different from the institutions that are there at the moment. If you were going to start a startup, who's working for a startup? If you were going to start a startup, if you had a really good idea, would you go into IBM and try and change it from the inside? No. All right. You might. That's fine. Some people would. But you wouldn't expect to change the whole organization in anything under 30 years, necessarily. I'm now looking directly at you, sorry. Um, my point is I don't think we can change those existing institutions. I think there are new voices that need to come into the scene. And that's what we're trying to build with something new. We believe in the power of the web. We believe in openness, in collaboration, in all those things that let us try and break out of the bubble of our own echo chambers. We know that those echo chambers are there. We see it ever more clearly in the last week. We've got to reach out beyond these walls, beyond London, beyond our Twitter echo chambers and engage everyone in an open vision, a collaborative vision of a better future that everybody can build. And that's what we're trying to build with something new. We're trying to build that open and hold it up openly in the public arena for debate if anybody wants to do that, because I think we have to. How can these people talk help you? They can help me by coming talk to me afterwards or go to the website somethingnew.org.uk. We are going to need everyone. How many members have you got? 
Not many. At the moment. Um, yeah. Yeah. Is it a registered political party? Yes, it is. How many votes did you get? Three hundred and seventy-five. I was not last. When did you start? When did you start it? Um, the manifesto started writing summer two thousand thirteen. Uh, so you have a manifesto? Yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, any other quick questions? We're going to move on. What's the website again? Where Somethingnew.org.uk. Okay, great. Thanks very Thank much. Thank you.